House Chair, for those learned individuals in the House today expecting an academic lecture from me, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is a parliament, not a university convocation. The Constitution of the Republic is very clear about who qualifies to be a member of this House. The framers of the Constitution made it this way so that it didn't matter whether you were a mine worker or a brain surgeon, you could still participate in our democracy. And how ironic it has been to see the EFF, the so-called vanguard of the working class, argue now for some form of qualified franchise, where only those with university qualifications can get elected and serve in this parliament. You see, this is the ultimate hypocrisy. The EFF On like a point of order. The Honourable Member can take a seat. What's the point of order, Honourable Member? No. That's very, that's misleading. Order. It's extremely misleading. Order, honorable members. It's extremely misleading. It's the DA's Order. position in the KZN that people must honorable have qualifications. Order. EFF did not come up with qualifications. He must deal with his Chair people Person. and Order. his honorable honorable members. Members standing on. He must leave the Order. EFF out of Chair, it. what rule? You must not extremely on? mislead honorable the country. Member. You must read order, your rules. Mental. It says you either Chair say person, what you want to say or you go to the rule. I said what point rule? of order. You must go back to school and read. Order. Oh. Honorable Member Mentor, that's your point of debate. Is not a point of order in terms of the rules. And therefore, that was not a point of order. Honorable Senez, and can you proceed? You see, this is the honorable, the, uh, the honest form of hypocrisy. Point of order, Madam Chair. Now, this is harassment. Come on. Order, Honourable Matthias, what's the point of order? Can Honourable Estes and take a question? No. It's a very private and personal order. question. If it's a private question, therefore it's not for can the House. Can you take a can question? Can you please take a, a seat, Honourable Member? I want to I'm humble him to today. Order, can you please take a seat? He's too pompous. Can you please take a seat, Honourable Member? Honourable Matthias, can you take your seat? You see, this is the ultimate form of hypocrisy. The EFF like to play dress up as miners and domestic workers, but they don't want real miners and domestic workers to be represented in this house. Like the old English upper classes who kept the working class locked out of parliament with their Oxford degrees and their Cambridge qualifications, they don't want ordinary South Africans to be part of the decision making process in this house. Let me be very clear. I don't have a university degree. I've never pretended that I did have one. I enrolled for a BA in uh, politics and law, and I, but due to financial and work pressures, I couldn't finish it. I'm not ashamed of this, and you can laugh all you like. I'm not ashamed of this, because I knew from an early age that I wanted to be a public representative, and that I wanted to work in politics Chair. to make a difference in the lives order, of order ordinary South Africans. Can you take us in? What's the point of order, honourable member? You're not ashamed to that order, you don't have a degree, but I'm ashamed to mention that you also don't have matric. Can you please take You also seat? don't have matric. Mention it as well. Would she come in? Honourable members, I've just been speaking to the members of the NA table because, unfortunately, the system here, I can't switch off the mic because honourable members know you must stand on a point of order and mention what rule. You can't just stand and make a point of debate. Honourable Senator, you are protected. Can you proceed? I was elected as a city councillor at the age of 22. For the last 20 years, wherever I've served, I've represented the citizens of this country honestly, diligently, and with my very best efforts. I've never once used my position to line my own pockets. I've never once abused provincial tender processes to make myself and my family rich. I've never once stolen the savings from the poor and vulnerable order. to buy fancy houses order order. and swimming pools. Order, Honourable Member, what, can you take your seat? What's the point of order? No, this is irrelevant. We are discussing the bill. Order, not, thank not, you. Not, not, not order honourable member, can you take your seat? Chair honourable person. member, is a point of debate. You can proceed, honourable members. Chair, it's within the person. context of the debate. Would you please protect the speaker? I the am protecting the speaker. The and the honourable and this Waters. Is very relevant to the debate honourable on Waters. qualifications. I've just protected the speaker.
Can you proceed, Honourable Steinazen? It amazes me that this party of academic elitists who parade on Instagram in the academic gowns is the one party that consistently resorts to thuggery and chaos in this House. If that is what a university education gets you, if that is superior logic, you can frankly keep it. But let's call out the last 48 hours for what they really are. A smokescreen. Whether it's this ridiculous attack on me, or the disgustingly personal denigration of Minister Godan and his family, or the vile abuse the EFF have meted out to journalists who have exposed them, it is a smokescreen. A smokescreen to mask the corruption of their party and the network of patronage and rent-seeking that resulted from the looting of VBS Bank. The EFF knows that this is fatal to their brand because they have stolen from poor people that they claim to represent. They are desperate to refocus the public's attention on something else and they will use anything, me or Minister Godan, to do so. Point of order, Slal. The point of order. Gabon, Slal. Lana, go to Kulunya, go to Alenda, go to the EFF. What's the point of order? Can you please take your seat? Can you take your seat? But God has tried. Can you please take your seat? That's not the point. I was trying to Order, honourable members. Point of order. What's the point of order, honourable member? The member is casting aspersions on the members and he's misrepresenting facts. He Chair says person. the leaders of the Chair EFF person. are VBS looters. Leaders of the EFF are members of this parliament. He must substantiate what he says. He must bring a substantive motion in order for him to oh no. lead order. the country. You must Chair go back to school. Can you please school. take your There's seat, no honourable member? Nothing that's gonna bite honourable you Mente, Go to school. Can you please take your seat? Order, honourable members. Can I make a ruling? Order, honourable voters. Can you please take your seat? Honourable members. Honourable members of the DA, can you please quiet down? Honourable member, in terms of the point of order that you raised that relates to Rule 85, there hasn't been any impugning on the character of the member. The reference was referred to a party, and that is not out of order. The Honourable reference Mente, was made to the leaders Honourable of the EFF. Leaders of the Honourable EFF are Mente, sitting here in this Honourable parliament. Mente, the reference Honourable was made Mente, to can you leaders, please take your seats? not to the party. Can you take you must your not seat. be biased to talk. Can you please take your seat, it Honourable Member? It was made to the leaders, and the leaders of this, the EFF sit here in this parliament. They don't sit Chair in the air. Mayor, they Chair sit here. Please. They are members of this house. You ought to protect them. Chairperson, Mayor Honourable Chair. Member, Mentor, can you take your seat? I've made a ruling on that matter, and if you have got objections, you can send it to the relevant processes. What's Chair. the point of order, Honourable Waters? 92, point yes. of order. Uh, Chair, it's quite obvious the EFF can dish it out, but can't take it. The fact is the EFF are VBS looters, Honourable if they like it or not. Honourable Steinazen. Honourable Steinazen, Honourable Mente, can you please take your seat? No, we are not going to be insulted. Can you it's please? It's not going to happen. Honourable Mente. We are not going Mente. to be insulted by racist DA people. We are not going to be racist. Honourable Waters, can you take your seat? Honourable Mente, I've said I've ruled on the matter, and if members want to challenge the ruling, they can proceed. Can you proceed, Honourable Member, to order conclude chair. your speech? Honourable Member, what's the point of yes. order? We are not going to be told by a racist Can DA you that we are corrupt. They must withdraw that we are corrupt because we have not been proven by any court. They remain Honourable racist Member. of note. They are not. Honourable In fact, Member. they are the one speaker that receive money from Guptas and they even send back a thank you note. Honourable These racist Member. and corrupt people, they come here because they use their white privilege. They think that they themselves Honourable are Member. immune. That racist. Honourable Member, can you please Honourable withdraw chair. that statement where you refer to a member as racist? Point of order, Chair. Point of order. Honourable Member, can you please take your seat? Point I will order. rule on the matter later in the day. Honourable Stenis, can order, you proceed? Chair. I'm up. Chair. Honourable Members, can you please take your seats? 
I will look at your statement precisely because there was a lot of noise and will then come back and make a ruling to the house. Honorable Stenis, uh, and can you chair, please... Chair, chair, chair. What is your point of Here order? Here I am. What's your point of order, Honorable Member? Not only are they VBS Honorable looters, member. they Honorable are elitists, Ma they are Madam, putting just a moral in the PA, you, you are in a racist organization. You are racist organization. And Fandam is one of those morals that you can Honorable see. Honorable Members. You'll never Honorable deceive us. Not only are you VBS looters. Honorable You are in a racist organization. Who Honorable are racist? You remain in a racist organization. You are insignificant in TA. You remain insignificant in TA because you are a moron. Honorable members. Honorable members. Honorable Fandam. Honorable members. Honorable chairperson. Honorable members, honorable members of the EFF, can you please take your seat? I have said I will come back to this house with a ruling. Can you please not degenerate the house and be in order? All of you, as well as Honorable Van Dam, I said she must take a seat. Honorable Shengwa. Am I audible? Oh, yes. Yes. Honorable Chair, I rise in terms of Rule 92.1. I request you, Chair, to exercise your powers and kick people out. We will not be subjected to a tit for tat of the DA and the EFF in this House. We are not here for their politics. So I Thank you, Honorable Member. To please assist us so we can do the business of the House. But we can't just now be Omar Kut and Walum Sagano so in Zegala. Sasya Kapas the Gapela Manjin. Thank you very much, Honorable Slengwa. I have I honorable, a... honorable Member Kawuna. Look... Take your seat. Can you take your seat, Honorable Makaula? Can you take your seat? I have ruled on this matter and I don't want a debate. Anyone who has a problem, you can exercise the hidden hypocrisy and their leaders' lavish lifestyles. We are not afraid of this little band of wannabe revolutionaries with their academic posturing who think that by quoting Karl Marx, Franz Fanon and Chairman Mao makes them friends of the working class. You don't need a degree to see the EFF for what it is an elitist clique that steals from the poor and the downtrodden and we will continue to call them out without hypocrisy and without fear and without favor thank you order honorable members honorable killian hello wonderful people of course thank you for stopping by this is Fred from Africa. If you're watching us for the first time, please flat home because this is your channel. And please do not forget to subscribe, to leave us a comment, and like this video because this is your best channel ever. After watching this video of the South African Parliament, uh, what have you grabbed from this video? Okay, the, the debate was about uh, the education uh, level of, of uh, Mr. Jones. Stausen. He was being interrogated by the members of EFF about his qualification to be a member of parliament. But I feel that uh, this is just a waste of time. Okay, Our members of parliament sometimes like something to discuss about and the country is undergoing problems like lack of electricity. And a member has been in the parliament since 1999 up to date. Okay, Someone has been in the parliament since his youth age. And now he's 47 years old. He's becoming old in the same same uh, parliament. And now you're meeting to discuss about his level of education. Sometimes two people are failing us. We have got a number of issues that members of parliament need to be discussing in the parliament. Things like water, electricity, things like uh, infrastructure. Should discuss how a country uh, should be developing, not. The education level of an individual whom you've been with in the parliament for over 25 years you have been with this person in the same same house now you meet to discuss about this level of education this is wastage of time i feel so i don't know what you feel about 
this debate as the viewer is watching this video. According to me, I feel that these people are just here to waste time because you cannot meet to discuss about the education level of a fellow whom you've been with for the past 20 years, 25 years in the parliament, then now you meet to discuss about his level of education. Me, I feel this is a waste of time. I don't know what you feel about whoever is watching this video. It doesn't matter where, uh, which part are you, whether you are a DA person, whether you are an NC person, whether you are an EFF person. I want you to look this thing uh, as, an, as, as a citizen of South Africa. What do you say about this? debate that was going on do you think it worth it discussing the education level of a person who have been in the parliament for over 25 years now you meet in the parliament to discuss about his level of education i don't i don't think it makes some sense guys so please comment down there in the comment section because you know we have a lot of things that need to be discussed but i like the way mr john handled this uh, question for one to be a member of parliament, there are qualifications that are, are, are outlined there for you to be a member of parliament. And for John to be allowed at the age of 22 years old, it means he qualified to be a member of that house. It is nothing to be debated about because he was elected by the people who he represents in the parliament and therefore he qualifies to be there. So I don't see the need of now members of parliament meeting to discuss about the education level of a person of an individual who has been elected by the people to go represent them in the mem in the parliament so guys i don't know what to think about this video in the comment section i don't want you to comment like a member of eff or a member of da or a member of any other party or anc comment like a person who who feels that economy needs to be fixed okay the country is undergoing a lot of problems right now People are living in poverty, okay? They can't get jobs and yet they are qualified. They can't put food on the table because they don't have jobs or the economy is sitting on them. Therefore, they can't afford to cater for their family needs. And the member of parliament, members of parliament are meeting to discuss about the education level of an individual who has been in the parliament for the past 25 years. I don't think these are uh, something that we need to take lightly. I think we need to look at what our members of parliament are discussing because there are issues on the ground that they need to be discussing. There are issues that are affecting people of that country that, uh, they, they, that they need to meet and discuss. And that's why they were elected to go make laws, not discussing about the education level of an individual who has been there for over 25 years. You meet now to discuss about his level of education. Okay, but I like the way Steve Hosen uh, handled this uh, matter. Thanks for watching our videos. Please comment down there in the comment section and let's meet again in our next video. Guys, we love you so much and may God continue lifting you with your family. May God continue blessing you with your family. Those who are watching my videos, those who are commenting, those who are liking my videos, may God protect you. Thank you so much and I am Fred.